When I say the word football, what comes to mind? I love it. Can't wait for the NFL to start back up. I think I'll, I think I'll die without football. Like I'm a real football head, like really. So you're a real football fan, fanatic. Yeah, I'm a crazy fanatic fan about football, especially the NFL. Okay. Describe a typical typical day in the life before the accident versus after the accident. I would say maybe you know waking up. Uh, going out, you know, with friends, maybe playing basketball, maybe football, just hanging out, you know, just normal day, us chilling, lounging around till, you know, where now, you know, it's, I'm not out playing basketball or playing football, but, you know, still hanging with my friends, having company over, maybe, uh, you know, watching a movie or two, you know, with them, getting some laughs in. What are some misconceptions people have about you? I would say some people, you know, think I'm mean or, you know, have like a snobby attitude. Some people, you know, look at me and, you know, see that I have gold teeth and tattoos and think, oh, well, you know, since he's in a wheelchair, he got shot. So, you know, they, they kind of look at it, you know, a different way than other people that know me. You know, look at me. How did it make you feel though? Uh, me, I would say, I mean, it's to me it's not a big thing because, you know, I know who I am. So, I wouldn't say, you know, I don't like it, but, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion. But, you know, just say if they think that once they get to know me, you know, they let me know, like, you know, I thought this about you, but you way different than what I thought. What is one thing you would like people to know about you? Uh, I'm a big believer in God. I don't go to church every Sunday or anything like that, but you know, I'm a real believer in God. I pray every night, uh, pray every morning when I wake up, thank Him for waking me up. So, you know, I'm, I'll say, you know, I'm kind of spiritual, but I don't, me, I don't really show it, but I'm a real big believer in God. Okay. So let's go back to football. Since, uh, since the accident, has it changed your perception of football? I know you say you love it, but has it, it changed? Has it changed it one bit? I think it's got worse. Like, um, you know, I'm going to it now. Before my injury, I was maybe, you know, a bigger NBA fan, but now I'm a bigger NFL fan, and you know one of the reasons is because my best friend, he's a member of the New England Patriots. So, you know, with him being in the NFL, I'm more involved and attached to it now. So, real big NFL fan. Okay. Speaking of your friend, that's Joseph, right? Yeah. Uh, describe the support system. Uh, you have and friends like Joseph, Marcus, you know, Mark, you, you tell me. I mean, all of my friends are, you know, very, very supportive. You know, uh, when Joseph's here in town, he come over, uh, anything I need or anything I want to do, you know, he's willing to do it. The same goes for Marcus and Mark, you know, Mark is the guy that I tackle and some people don't even know that, you know, me and him was friends before the accident, you know, so after the accident, they thought, you know, maybe, you know, we didn't like each other, but truly, really, in reality, we're best friends, like he's one of my best friends, so, I mean, my support system with my friends is real good, you know, without them and my family, especially my mama, my biggest supporter, like, I don't think... I don't think I would have a smile every day without them behind my back. Okay. Name the three biggest things going on in your life right now. Right now, uh, heavily into shooting a movie about my life, you know, about my accident and, you know, afterwards of what's going on. Uh, 
my second thing. What about, aren't you a member of the... I'm a member of Gridiron Heroes. That's uh, a group of, you know, guys, other teenagers that's been uh, hurt during football, you know, playing football, maybe broke their neck or anything. And I think I was maybe one of the second, you know, second members to join it. And I know I'm the oldest, so, you know, I like to, you know, go to functions with them. All the, the younger boys look up to me as their big brother. So, you know, that's that's something else I'm involved in. And I would say my third thing is uh, kind of involved with my brother music, you know, helping him promote his music here in Houston and different things like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>